allotment. Um, it's around about six degrees, so it's pretty cold. So I think the first thing that we're gonna do is just put the, the fire on, um, get a bit of heat in there, the actual shed itself. And then we'll go through a bit more about the, the YouTube channel and what we're gonna do. first video that we'd focus on would be on the log burner seem to get a lot of questions a lot of questions in groups on facebook um you see a lot of information on youtube with regards to putting log burners into sheds the best way of being able to do it and from a safety point of view as well so this is a log burner that originally came off ebay my wife bought it for me for a christmas present uh two years ago um it was around about 180 200 pounds i think it was at the time but the prices have gone up since then so just a very simple log burner with two opening parts. So you can see the fire is going really, really well up the chimney, up the back. You can see that there's no sort of leaks or anything like that from the chimney either. So single, single flue goes out the back, up and then through the building. Now what you will see when you look here... You can't see it quite as well. You can see a little bit better there. Uh, it's actually a twin flue. So what happens is the single flue goes through there, goes out and obviously goes up out the top. Now from a heat point of view, because it's not very warm at the minute, but it will get warm. Um, we've also wrapped the single flue as it goes through the wall in exhaust tape. So if you ever have a car, you have issues with an exhaust that leaks or anything like that. Um, or it's anywhere like a manifold that gets really really hot you can get this exhaust wrap so it goes on there um, just to be able to help the heat because obviously there's a lot goes into the wall these are pallets so it's got an inner skin and an outer skin um, the inner skin has obviously just got wood on there it's plastic on the outside and then from a heat point of view as you can hear the kettle's just starting to boil so it gets extremely hot very quickly you can open the door, you can let it run. It is very, very nice and warm. Um, you can see obviously a bit of smoke out there because there's quite a bit of wood in there at the minute. So we'll shut that back up. Obviously when you've got that door locked, there isn't any leaks. Now we do have a carbon monoxide alarm in here as well. So if there is any sort of issues or problems, we get a warning, tone, warning sound tone. So around the back, it's a bit hard to see because we've not really got any open areas here um, because we've got the actual the wood in around it but this is just corrugated metal the corrugated metal goes all the way around these are just off cuts that i've had from the actual allotment itself which have been painted black and they're painted with stove paint again just to help with the heat not very hot at the minute the further that you get towards the actual chimney itself it does get very hot Behind that, there is some fire protectant board. So again, that's up against the pallet wood just to keep the heat down from there. And underneath, you can see the slate. What we do actually have, that's just a granite um, hearth. Now the granite hearth, again, is raised up off the floor. So you've got a gap underneath for air to be able to, be able to breathe. But it was pretty simple to get installed. Um, the first fire was a little bit worrying because there was quite a bit of smoke coming out. But we found out in the end that was just the coat and that was on the actual the inside of the fire and the metal as well. So what we'll do is we'll just go and have a quick look outside. That's normally fastened up against the wall just to keep it there tight and stop and make sure that there's nothing comes in from the outside. You can see it's getting a little bit rusty and this is just the exhaust um putty that we've used just to seal up the, the actual the pipe itself but we'll go and have a quick look outside and then you'll be able to see what it looks like from there and there's the outside of the shed so you can see the chimney coming up again you can see that twin flue just outside 
and the bend comes up to help with the draw. So you need to have that higher than the roof, which helps with the actual draw of the smoke coming out. But really, really easy to fit. Um, took about two hours. Um, again, it's well worth it. Definitely, it's a huge shed that we've got, but it keeps the inside pretty warm on a cold day like this. Oh, 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 oh,